for my weather project, um, I made a thermometer and I learned that it could go high and low in what the temperature. So right now it's room temperature. So it could go high or low and I put it in boiling water and went all the way up here. And then I put it in freezing water and went all the way down here. So it's room temperature right now. Very cool. How did you make your thermometer? What steps did you use of the engineering design process? I used alcohol, food coloring, paint, air dry clay, a straw, and a um, bottle. And I'm going to a bottle of glass because it will make it more cooler. And the alcohol is expanding. When the alcohol expands, it goes higher and lower. And Right now, since alcohol is getting this much height, it's room temperature. It's going this high because that's how much the um, the, how much it is to the, how much the it's hot or cold right now in the classroom. And with and so we put this air dry clay so it doesn't move, and the straw will measure it. What would happen if I put your thermometer outside on a hot summer day? It would beetle, while when I tried it with boiling water, it went all the way up here. So, um, it might go to the top if it's a super duper hot day, or if it's kind of hot, it will go here. But if it's really hot, it will go here. What's your favorite thing that you learned doing your project? My favorite thing that I learned, it, it's, they were, all of them were my favorite, but there's one that was my absolute favorite. My, my absolute favorite was um, that I learned how how high it could go. Like a normal, this the the boiling water made it go this high. I couldn't believe my eyes, and and it actually worked. And I made a rough draft of it using soda bottles, some soda, and then I made my final draft. This was my final draft, and I loved seeing how hot and cold and how boiling and how cold it is. I love seeing. That's amazing. Thank you so much.